go ahead. It almost like makes me cringe to uh, put a gray right on a white canvas because it tends to be super grabby. But yeah, um, yeah, make it look like boards. We'll do that. But I'm going for it. Oh my goodness, look at that color. Oh, fantastical. So we're just going to get this gray on. It's gonna take us a hot minute because gray on this white is super grabby. So that's why I'm gonna do my sides after the fact. I'll just wait till it's done tonight and come back and just do my sides. Otherwise, we'll be here three days. Nobody wants that. Well, Richard, because my boots are vertical, I don't want my boards to be vertical too. So I want, uh, we may do them horizontal or we'll, we'll just have to play with it and see what we get. Cause that's how I roll. <laughs> if we don't like it, we'll do something else. Right? It's just paints. Oh, that'll be fun. Yes, polka dots on the boots. And we're just going to do whatever we want to do as we go, because, you know, I, I sketched out the boots, but I really didn't have a, even a color in mind until I came up here to kind of get myself ready. And I was looking at my paint colors and I thought, oh my goodness, we must have teal boots. We must, absolutely. Oh, a ladybug too. We'll Y'all gonna have us here all night. Okay. I got a little excessive at the end, so I'm gonna stretch it down. All right. My brush is super full of paint, so I'm just going to unload it. Hang on, get that off. Make sure we got it nice and covered, back and forth, pretty smooth. No goobers. Now, I'm gonna get a clean brush. All right, clean brush. You don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I hear you, me either, really. Just out in the backyard. We'll stick that in there. So I'm gonna get a clean chip brush. And I really want this to set up for a few minutes, so we may, I'm gonna um, just kind of get myself ready. I'm gonna use this to kind of, I do, hang on, I gotta plug in my phone. And hey Marie, how are you? And let me plug my phone in. Ugh. Uh, and I'm gonna use it to kind of, kind of give myself that distressed line that I want. So I'm just gonna cut myself a little strip with my scallop scissors. And you'll see what I mean when, once we do this. So I just cut a little piece of one of those scouring pads. So we're gonna use that in a minute. Put my scissors back. And I got a clean plate today. And we need white. It's like a, a like a green one of those green Scotch bright pads, but it's white. We used it in the shattered circle to do denim. You remember that? All right, guys, I'm gonna have to hit this with a blow dryer just for 20 seconds. So give me a little grace. It's gonna be loud. I'm gonna put it on high so it doesn't take a bomb. No shame in my game. 
Right now it's a hot mess. We really just got started, Denise. All right, that's dry enough. Thanks for putting up with that crap. That's so wild, isn't it? Okay, so the gray is dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cat hair blowing everywhere. No, Richard, I do not let the cats come in my room. Sometimes they get in by accident, but for the most part, they are not allowed in my resin room. So I'm gonna take another chip brush and I am going to just load the flat side. I'm not dipping it like this. I'm just dipping the flat side of my brush into the paint so it's loading just one side. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run it across Get a little more. And then I'm gonna use this pad. Remember the pad I just cut? I'm gonna use that to just pull through and give it a little bit of a distressed look. Now, I wish I hadn't used white. I wish I had used uh, gray. Hang on, I'm gonna get another gray. I don't like the white. It's too white. Too white. Too much contrast. Start over, redo, redo. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this gray. This is cable knit gray. We used it in our, um, need a new brush again. We used it last night in our hydrangeas. So I'm gonna go into the cable knit. I don't know, there we go, that's better. I didn't want, I wanted it to be kind of dark. I didn't want it to be white. So that was a bad idea, but that's okay. It's just paint, right? So I'm gonna do this again. Way better. Now let's see if we can make it look right or are we gonna have to add white up to the whole thing? Dag nabbit. Uh, if you'll email her, Bianca, it is info at theshatteredcircle.com. Uh, that's Christy, and she will help you, sweetie. Don't ask me because I have no idea how my website works. So because I started with the white, I'm going to go ahead and use the white too. And then I'm going to come back in with that cable net right on the top. So I'm consistent, otherwise it won't match. And I'm going to do this again. I like the um, inconsistency of it. Let's get a little more paint. Dark gray was gray storm. A little more cable knit, that's not it. So you see how we're just flying by the seat of our pants? And who knows, we may not even be done yet. I gotta stand up. All right, now we'll come back in with the gray, just with that same brush. And offload some of it. Yeah, I'm not displeased with it. I'm gonna do this. It just kind of makes it look a little more distressed. Kind of pulls some of the paint out of the canvas. You flip it. Now, I am, I'm gonna use, see if I can use every brush I have. I'm gonna get a little more white on this and just kind of tickle in some white here and there. Now this is how I paint when you aren't looking. It's like, uh, no, don't like that. Oh, no, let's try this. Oh, no, let's do that. We are making rain boots. This is the background for our rain boots.
white. Okay, so here's the deal. So this is our background, but also we have to have something for the boots to sit on. They can't be floating in the air. So we need a base. So I'm thinking a couple of inches. I'm gonna come back with that gray storm again. Give ourselves background for our boots to sit on. They can't just be floating in the air. These brushes are shedding and it's making me angry. A little bit more. I'm just going to put it right on my canvas. That's the gray storm. Yeah, we're gonna fix that. It doesn't matter. All these flowers are gonna be covering that up. And I really try not to micromanage that kind of stuff. It's darker at the top because I started with gray, with gray and then white and I put too much. But we're not going to stress about it either way. All right. So, this is where our boots will sit. I'm gonna pull that around the sides a little. Voila, okay. Oh. Yeah, I'll adjust it in just a second. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. What I was doing is just brushing the bottom edge of the canvas. So, there we go. Hi. Okay, so let me put the 72 brushes I've used in some water. So can you see the canvas now? You better? All better. I think we're good to go now. So we gotta draw this, guys, because we want to go ahead and do our boots, too. So we need this paint to dry. Let me stick my little thingy in the water. So, yeah, we're not even gonna be worrying about the top because our boots are gonna be right here, okay? So don't worry about up there. It's really hard, Any a canvas that's any bigger than like an 11 by 14, it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in there the way my uh, camera is set up, but let's see if you can see my finger. That's the top of the canvas. Yep, and you can see the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry again. Give me a little bit of grace for just a second. throw caution to the wind and let me see let's make a couple of lines let's make one let me do it let me do it like this where's my pencil maybe four inches maybe where's my tape measure right let's do the electric slide we'll do four inches and then eight inches and 12. Okay, so 
What I'm going to do is tape a line. Hopefully, let me do it on both sides so I don't have it wanky. Four, eight, twelve. Okay. Four. So what I'm gonna do is take a teeny bit of black, put it on my plate. I'm going to get one of my larger, already dirty, my um, larger flat brush, okay? I'm gonna wet it. And where's my paper towel? Offload some of the water. Then I want you to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna load just the tiniest edge of this brush into the black, okay? Just hit that corner. See about how much I have on that brush? Then I'm going to offload it this way. And then I'm gonna make myself a line. I think. We'll see how it looks. I'll do it again, a little bit on the corner, offload. All right, let's see how that looks. Voila. There's your ship lap. So we'll do it again. As on the eight inch mark. And we'll wet the brush, offload water, get into the black again, and make a line. Didn't quite have enough. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Hey, Connie, how are you? So there's your next line. All right, I wanna make sure I don't have paint on my Tape. We'll do the last line right down here. The main thing is to make sure your lines are straight. That one doesn't look very straight to me. Let me measure that again because it looks kind of crooked. Let me measure up four inches. Up four inches. It's straight. Just my crazy eyes. Right, it might be this that's not straight. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We'll wet our brush, offload excess water, dip into our black just on that tippy tip corner. We'll offload excess and give ourselves a line. A little more. Voila. We have shiplap. Okay, now, while we're here, while we're doing this, I am going to give myself, I want to make sure this is right. I'm just gonna use that same brush and kind of highlight where the background separates from the ground. So this is like our wall. 
And then this is where our boots are gonna sit. This is like the ground. Okay, so we're gonna add, may add even a little bit of white down here. Let's see if we have some available. Just playing with it as I go. Hey, everybody. All right, so this is where our boots will set. And a lot of that won't even be showing because of the way our boots are gonna cover most of this up. But that looks super cool. Let me push that up just a smidge. So, like I told you before, remember I usually sketch my entire piece on the plastic of my canvas. You can kind of see that I still have the boot seen on my canvas. And once I get it sketched out there, I transfer it to transfer paper so that I can provide this to the people inside the shattered circle. And then I have it for always as well. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to transfer the image to your canvas. Okay, that's all pretty dry. I'm gonna tape it down just a little bit. Hey, Andrea. And I'm gonna tape it right there. And since I have a dark or a lighter background in black, I'm gonna use, this is like, remember, most of us here are probably older than 40. So remember copy paper? And remember how you put this between two sheets of paper and type? Oh my Lord, how old are we? So that's, this is what I'm gonna use. And you can get this at Hobby Lobby in the art section. It's just called transfer. Okay, yes, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So I am gonna transfer my boots to, now if you guys weren't here, I would probably just sketch it, but, in, but then I'd have to erase it and sketch it, erase it and sketch it 27 times. So that's why I provide a transfer. Look at my hands. So I am gonna go ahead and just transfer this onto my canvas. Kind of like I was drawing it. So we'll go down as far as the transfer paper will allow us. So I'm just going over the lines. And then we'll pull it down. And do the bottom. We're gonna paint these teal. They're gonna be super cool. Who has rain boots out there? Do you guys have rain boots? I have some that I adore. They are animal prints. So this is our rain boots that we have transferred onto our canvas using a stylus and some transfer paper. Carbon paper, that's what it was called. <laughs> Old fashioned carbon paper, so funny. Okay, so now we're gonna just start on our boots. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, let me find a clean area of my plate. I brought three different colors to, yours have chickens on them. I love them. That would be so cute. Oh my goodness. Mine have, uh, do you really, Cindy? Mine have animal print and they have a rip down the si on the side but um, I tried to put some epoxy on it and I haven't looked at them since, so. Oh, I love it. Thank you for the sprinkles, Catherine. Horses, love it. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of figure out which color I like best with this, and I kind of like this one. It, this one is a little, this one is super blue. 
Um, it's a nice pop of color. This one is kind of blue-green, and this one it leans more teal. Uh, I like that because it's a super big pop of color, so I think we're going to use that. Going to use that leopard print. Mine are zebra. So this is Anita's Island Green. So we are going to use Island Green, and we're going to start just base coating out our rain boots. This is not fun. Let me find a brush that can handle the work. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. Hang on. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in base coating out the interior where I transferred it on to the um, canvas. So this color, check it out. Oh my gosh. Look guys, is this not stinking awesome? Oh. So I'm gonna stay, try, I'm gonna try to stay within the lines of my transfer. Look at that color. Oh, is that not the one? Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna do the, pretty much the interior of the boot first, and it, you know, just the inside, and then I'll come back and do the heel because I'm gonna darken up the heel a little bit with some black or gray. Um, and then we will do some highlighting and shading as well. So I'm just gonna really work on getting the inside of that boot done, especially down here where I can kind of see the lines. Yes. So fun. This color, guys, oh my goodness. See how quiet I got? Because I can't talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> ah. Yes. Okay, so I guess we can retrace that if we need to. This is where, uh, do your um, boots have buckles? Mine have a little buckle on the back. One of the buckles is broken on one of mine. We're gonna do the buckle in bright red. I love it. Let's see. I'm just gonna paint over it. I can sketch it out. Thank you for the sprinkles. This is gonna be super cool. So I can't wait to figure out the flower situation. Because we're gonna have flowers popping out of these boots. Is my big head getting in the video? I just need to paint that. I'm micromanaging it instead of just painting it out. I can paint over it. I'm gonna add just a teeny bit of black to that. This is the top of the boot. Now most of those flowers will be popping out of there, but we're gonna do that anyway, just so we can see it. Right, I usually like hold my mouth funny. that and we'll get to this side ok 
got really super quiet, didn't I? It's really, <laughs> I'm really concentrating. All right, let's get this other boot. This color is so fantastic. I'm looking on my iPad and it looks more blue on the iPad than it does in real life. So um, there's that. This is a really beachy blue color for sure. So, super quiet. Need somebody to yell at me. So when you're painting at home, are you super quiet? Who Do you put on music and bounce around the room or is everybody super quiet? For me, it's both. Depends on my mood. Sometimes I need super quiet, and sometimes if I'm jamming, I am in jam mode. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is come back and add a little more of this color over here where I can still kind of see the um, background popping through. So I wanna make sure I have that, yeah, music, I hear. Gotta have your music. And still see that shining through but we'll have to fix that later that dark line of our ship lap is kind of busting through do you have it loud <laughs> no not on the parts you have to concentrate on just the other parts certainly not on these kinds of parts I may have to hit this with a blow dryer you can see where it's still showing through Should have got a bigger brush too. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna hit this with a blow dryer real quick because otherwise we're gonna be here all night. Let me hit it. Uh-oh, are we, are we still on? My iPad went dead. Give me some thumbs up if we're still here because my iPad just completely bogged down on me. Oh, thank you. This color is uh, Anita's Island Green. Hey, Inga. Hey, Boo. Hey, Grandma. So this will help me, uh, <laughs> Richard. Only you, Richard, let your cats crawl in resin. The rest of us do not. Okay. Now, maybe I can get rid of those lines. Those are my shiplap lines. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I guess first what I want is to shade. Okay, so I'm gonna do some shading on my boots. And so on the, on the left edge of these boots and where these two boots come together, I'm gonna shade with a little bit of black mixed in with my teal, and also down around the bottom of the boot. And then on the front edge of the boots, we'll add some white into it. So we're gonna do black first, 
a little bit of teal just to give it a shadowy effect and that's a little excessive but we'll fix it out just want to show where the boots separate I need to wet my brush it's crazy All right, let's start at the top and just kind of add a little shadow. Where the boots are touching. And we'll mark that up with a pen too. We're gonna, you know I love my little pens. So we use our pen as well. But I'm dipping into my blue and then mixing in just a dot of black just to darken that up. Right along the edge of the boot. I don't know why my brush isn't acting right. It's making me angry. Okay, so that separates our boot. I cannot see anything. My laptop, I mean my iPad is history. So, a little more of the blue and the black. I'm gonna go right down the bottom where the boot touches the heel. and maybe a little on this edge. Did you get your bot message? This is irritating me. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse that. I'm gonna get a little white. And offload. We'll put a little white on the toe. Whoa, that's too much white on the toe. There we go. I need to stand up. I'm not painting well sitting down today. more white. When I say a little, I mean a little. There we go. That's better. Much better. I'm just futzing now with the little highlights here and there. You may add those dots somebody mentioned. I 
Okay, so now what we want to do is add those buckles back in. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my pencil and kind of sketch that back out. Okay, so here is where that, butt, that strap that tightens your boots comes out. So we're going to sketch that kind of back in and then our buckle here. And then where it attaches, oops, that was wrong. Where it attaches back to your boot. And there's kind of like a little, I looked at my boots, it's like a little divity thing. And then on this side, we're just gonna create the divity thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of white to my teal, because I need it to be a little bit of a different color here so that you can see where the buckle is. If you just paint it all the same color, then you can't tell that the buckle was there. Same here. Now I'm gonna add a teeny bit of black. Like this, you mean? Like this? I understand. It depends on what I'm painting for me. My black's trying to dry up. So let me see if I can do this. I think I got too much paint. Hang on. is so dry, I don't even know why. I'm gonna have to futz with this a little. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in my little red buckle. And this is just Anita's red. Yeah, I'm not showing the buckle on the back boot. I'm just showing the um, little section where um, it attaches to the boot. So that piece right there is what's showing there. I'm gonna draw in my buckle, cause it's gonna be red. Red and teal together are fantastical. Boom, All right? We're gonna use our pencil to highlight that a little. So we're not gonna stress about it too terrible much. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit, I need a little more black. I cannot see anything I'm doing because my iPad is still not working. So I'm gonna do a little bit of black on that little pointy brush and just hit around the edge of my red. And then we're gonna leave the details of that to our pen. Okay, so I need to do the little loops where you pull. Oh, 
Oh, I see what you're saying. So this would be the right side of the boot. That would be the left side. That makes sense. I got gotcha. you. You wouldn't see that, would you? I smell what you're stepping in. And that makes perfect sense. I'm just crazy. So I'm gonna come in here. These are the pull-up straps. Roll on the back of your boots. Y'all, I'm crazy sometimes. I'm crazy a lot of the times. So we fix it, we fix it. Okay, just fill in that in. Then we're gonna highlight that inside of that loop. You gotta get that erased. All fixed. We'll highlight that with just a smidge of the black inside that loop. Well, I'll probably need that to dry. And they're factory seconds, right? They're tooth left feet. A little dot of white on the fronts. Put a little dot of white there. Mm-hmm. A little something here. A little something here. Too much. Don't get overzealous. Okay, now what I want to do is my heels real quick, and then we'll kind of come back and look and see maybe what needs to change. So I'm going to do my heels in gray. I'm just going, I have some white on my plate and some black. I'm just going to use those together. I'm just going to make myself a little gray. And that's what color I'm going to paint my boot. No, well, I guess I'm not. I guess I could outline them. They're almost the same color as the background, but we'll figure it out. It's okay. Girl, I ain't perfect. That's for dang sure. Right. Well, now we'll do the little tip over here. Those little rubber soles. Oh, it's too late. Should I make them red? Does that be too much red? Oh, I should. Okay. We got to dry this then. Hang on. Let's dry this so we can go red. See? You guys are awesome. I listen. I listen. Okay. Let's try that. Red it is. Red heels. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this. Goodness, yes. Good. 
Good call, whoever said that first. Richard, was that you? Did Richard have a good idea? hold my mouth right for sure doing this. Good job, Richard. I need a smaller brush. Hang on. Where'd my little baby brush go? This is why we keep you around, Richard. Your great ideas and your sense of humor. Gum it. <laughs> oh my God. Look what I did. All right, let's see. Hang on. So annoying. But look, fixed. Oopsie daisy's right. <laughs> but you know what? It's always just paint, right? It's always just paint. I've become a professional at correcting boo-boos. Let's give this sucker a second coat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I do it all the time, guys. I do it all the time. In the shattered circle on the videos that you watch, you never see that because those are edited out. I should do a, sh a bloopers. I should do a bloopers reel because I got some bloopers now. I've done some things. I've said some things. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of give this red a little, um, second coat they red all the kudos to richard for the red bottoms super great idea all right so I'm gonna hit these with just a little bit. I'm running out of space in my cup. Got too much in it. My water cup's getting crowded. So I'm gonna hit up these with a touch of white if I have some. <laughs> Do you, Susan? That's hilarious. I'm a dropper too. I'm a klutz from way back. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white on this little brush and just kind of hit the tips of these boots with the white while it's still wet in a couple of spots. And rinse again. Yeah, I'll get I'll get some more red on there. And we're going to do a little bit of a dark shadow on the heel. I needed it to be blacker. And 
Now I think we're gonna use our pen to do some of the highlighting. You rinse. Okay. I wanna get my arm in that red, so I'm gonna come back up here. The red on top of the blue makes it dry darker. Might need a coat or two. And it's redder in person than it looks on the screen too, so there's that. It looks kind of black on the screen. But it's not, I promise. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry. <laughs> I'm gonna add some details using my graphic pen. This is my favorite thing to do when we're doing a piece, is to use my little pen to do the detail work. And here's why I started doing this, actually. It's because I have arthritis in my hands. It's really hard for me to do fine, you know, really fine detail work on some things. So I like to use my graphic pen to, to add some of that detail in my art pieces. So it's just easier for me to do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is use it. I'm gonna try to keep my hands out of the wet stuff, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the boot, the top of the boots up close. See how, where the buckle and stuff is? It's just kind of meh. So give me a sec and let me show you what I like to do. So. Oh, hang on. I have to turn it so I don't want my hands in it. Let me do this side of the boot. Here's some dots for you, Richard. Dot, 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 just for you. All right, now I'm gonna show you. I wanna do that too, but I want it to dry. And detail makes. Susan, it is a graphic needle drawing pen. It's um, from Hobby Lobby. It is a pigment ink, water resistant archive quality pen. So that pen makes all the deep difference in the world as far as details. I'm even going to do it across. And I don't try to be perfect with my pen. I like it better if it's imperfect. What I do need to do before we stop, I wanna let that dry a little bit, but I do need to add some shadow underneath the boots. Whoops, that came off my, my uh, brush. That did, and that's from me leaving my brushes in the water. So don't be bad like me. So we are going to put a little Shading. Hang on. I did not blend that very well. Where our feet, where our um, boots are gonna set. Because they're gonna cast a shadow as well. All right, I think I can do, I'm gonna hit this with a dryer 
two seconds. Whole sink full. Oh, are you talking about brushes? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Look, I have like 10 in here. Bad, bad, bad girl. Okay, back to the pen. This is a 0 0.5. And I am going to finish my boots. Just outlining the outside edge. And then I'll come back in and add some lines in the soles. And voila, I think. Let me stand up and look at it. I'm pretty pleased with that. So who thinks the boots need dots? Let's see, can you see this really well? Can you see this? I'm gonna keep my hands away just for a few minutes. Right? Most of mine don't have uh, skin on them either. They're all peeled off. Or they have so much paint on them, you couldn't read it if you tried. So, dots. Big dots or little dots? White dots? Yeah. What should we do? What do you think? Waiting. Uh, I was thinking white. Like maybe little dots like the size of that, like the end of a thing, yellow. No dots. I like them like this. Little white dots. Dots that make them happy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn. I am so torn in leaving them the way they are and adding polka dots because polka dots make me happy. No dots with flowers on top. The next comment wins. Too busy with flowers. I'll tell you what we'll do, okay? So tomorrow, we're gonna leave this as is. And tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna come back and we're gonna paint in some greenery, some, you know, gr some of the green kind of stuff. And then we're gonna add some glass. So some of this might even go away. We're gonna add some glass. And before we resin, we will readdress dots. How about that? because I think once we get the glass on, we may not want the dots, so I think we'll leave that to decide tomorrow and um, leave it at that. What do you think? Yes, we're gonna leave it for tonight and see if we need them after our flowers. That sounds like perfection to me. Okay, so we are going to uh, get started on some foliage for our little um, rain boots. And I already went ahead and sketched out kind of what I was going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of green colors on my palette so that I can start on my leaves. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I have three greens. The first one is the lightest green, and it is Folk Art Hauser Green. I know it's gonna be so pretty. So Hauser Green, light, so I'll put a little bit of green. And then the medium green is uh, Americana Hauser Medium Green. So this one is light green. This one, thank you for the sprinkle, Samantha. This one is medium green. So three colors of green. <laughs> Richard, yeah, you really probably need a haircut. 
all that hair you got going on. It's a mess, isn't it? It's a hot mess. All right, I gotta do something with this real quick. Give me one second. I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why this is happening. Hang on one sec. Hang on, give me a second, guys. I had a squirrel moment. Squirrel moment. Yeah, Richard, pigtails is the answer for you as well, I do believe. Okay, so our darkest green is Plantation Pine by Americana. Thank you, they're so cute, aren't they? Very whimsical and fun. So we're gonna add all three greens onto our palette. Can you see them? So, let me see. I'm gonna start with a, um, a round point. It's a number 10 Craft Smart. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. It means nothing to me. I just look at the brush and say, this is the kind I need. So, I'm gonna wet my brush, and I'm gonna start with my medium color, and I wanna make sure you can see the paint colors too. So I'm gonna start with my medium, and I'm just gonna roll my paint, and my brush into my paint, saturate it really nicely, and then I'm just gonna go over here and start adding <coughs> some color. Now, some of these I want to be lighter than others, some darker, et cetera, et cetera. So this little ferny looking piece, I don't know what that is. I just made it up, but I want that to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just going to kind of make myself a little leaf. And all I did, I need to stand up a little bit. All I did, this is a pretty good size round point. All I did was very lightly start at the tip of the leaf, and as you get to the middle, you wanna press down and then pull back up again, and that will create a cute little leaf. Let me do this again. So it's all about the pressure. So I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm gonna paint in a couple of these leaves. And then we'll come in, oops, almost went the wrong color. Then we'll come in and add our stem with a finer brush. All right, I need to go this way too. So pretty simple, nothing to it. I always want to keep my brush really loaded. Right, let me see. I think this continues here. And some of these leaves will get covered up with other leaves and with the flowers, but that's okay too. We're just gonna keep adding. Is my big old head in the way? <laughs> I just noticed that. We're just gonna keep adding as we go. And if some are covered up, that's fine too. I had to stand up because the leaves are too far away from my face. All right, this is on the same stem. So I'm just rolling. Hey, other Judy. Judy one is my aunt. You're Judy two. Did y'all hear my elbow pop? Oh my goodness. Okay, now I think we're gonna do the same thing over here to this smaller little weave, leaf, stem, foliage, whatever she be. Hey, Sheila. And this one's a little smaller. I'm gonna scoot over just a little. So, just pop it in. Push down, pull up. Push down, and as you pull towards the stem, you pull up. 
Push down, pull up. I'm not gonna say it every time, I promise. <laughs> I'm annoying my own self. And here we're gonna hit over the top of that boot, just a smidge. All right, now we've got a couple leaves down here. We'll have to darken those up a little. And we've got a couple leaves down here. I'm gonna, I wanted some of them to fall down in across the top of the boot, so I didn't wanna cover up too much, but. Just a little. Push down. All right, now what we're gonna do for these leaves we already started, I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of the lighter green, it just on one side. So I'm just gonna pull I'm gonna go back into my medium green with the same brush and just kind of blend that along that line so it's not a hard contrast. Does that makes sense? Oh, that looks good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of this green on these flowers too, or flowers, leaves, you know what I mean. Just a touch. I don't like anything to be one solid color. Everything has to be multi. Go back in with a little bit of the medium. can in the group, I sure can. I sure can. Okay, so for, I'm gonna start with the next set of leaves and we're probably gonna do a little else, something else to those two, but we'll wait. I wanna go ahead and get the, all the background leaves in. So I'm gonna start with a darker color and do these great big leaves. I don't want to get my hand in that, so I'm going to have to be really careful. So we'll do the same thing. I think I got too much water in my brush. Try again. Isn't that a great color? It's called, it's Anita's Island Green. It is gorgy. That's gonna need a couple coats. So I'm gonna paint these big old leaves just a little darker. Hey, 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 V. We have a leaf here, a leaf, a leaf. Let's get it straight, Cindy. Now we'll do dark ones here.
dark ones here. I feel like we should be jamming to some music or something. Go, Leslie! I did curbside pickup the other day. It was fantastic. I just called them when I got there. They asked me what car I was in. And uh, they brought that stuff right out to my car. Opened the back door, stuck it in, and I drove away. It was fantastical. I think we should be able to shop like this forever. Just bring it to me. Okay, I have another set of leaves up here, but before I do those, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with another coat. They need it. Let's see. I'm gonna hit, I think, these with some of the medium green, just kinda on one side. We'll go this way. And we'll do these two just a little bit. All right, getting there. Most of this is gonna get covered up too. Um, so don't stress too much about this. This is a, it's called a round point and it's a number 10 Craftsman. It's one of my favorites. Love this brush so very much. Love it. Here's another one. This one is a number 10 as well. Same thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of the dark green and hit these one more time on one side. Okay, now for, oops, almost got my hand in it. For these little tiny ones, I think I'm gonna start light. There's only a couple of little leaves there and then we'll do our stems. Yeah, I, you can't go in anywhere here just about, except the grocery. But they will, if you order online, they will bring it to your car. All the restaurants are doing curbside which I love. Some of the restaurants here too are doing, um, I'm gonna do this one behind this flower or behind this leaf. Let's see if I can make it happen. Some of the restaurants here are letting you purchase alcohol. They're selling like margaritas curbside if you order food. And uh, obviously you have to be over 21. So let me do a little color correction here. So that's super cool. Super cool. You nod it off. <laughs> Am I boring you, Richard? Bless your little hearts. I'm boring Richard, guys. Just a little bit of that medium green on those. Okay, now I'm gonna get a really fine liner brush, I think. Tennessee, or I'm actually in South Haven, Mississippi, but the rest, it's the restaurants in Tennessee that are doing that, and I freaking love it. I'm all about it. Let me see if I can find a liner brush to do my, I think my liner brush is downstairs in the sink. Let me see if I can find another one. 
one that isn't crappy. Oh, this will do. There's one. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing curbside margaritas, man. You gotta buy food, you gotta be 21, but no, it has to be sealed. It has to be, it's in a cup, just like a to-go cup, as long as it's got a top, no straw, no nothing. They're letting you do it, so. Okay, so I am gonna use the medium green. This is a liner brush, so I'm gonna use the medium green, and then I'll come back and hit the um, hit them with the dark as well. I'm just going to create a few stems. Don't forget to connect your leaf, leaf to the stem. Well, that's wet. I can't really do that there. I may have to turn this upside down. Hang on. I'm going to turn it upside down so I can continue. And just kind of very, oops, I did it again. That one's wet too, by the way. I have to be very quiet or I will mess up. Now a lot of this is gonna be covered up. Oh yeah, they card you. I get carded all the time. I like to pretend it's because I look young but we all know that's a lie. 10 years ago, maybe, not today. Not today, sisters. Okay, let's do this one. And this one. Last but not least. You're scared. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. All right, now I'm going to just add a little darkness, a little bit of the darker color to some of those uh, stems, just for depth. I'm just gonna kinda hit and miss. And we'll probably hit it with a little white too. I'll start back over here because that's still wet. Is me turning this making you dizzy? And don't try, when you're doing a stem, don't try to make a perfectly straight line. There's, you know, make them thicker in some spots, thinner in others, because no stem is perfect. So make them look natural. Thick spots, thin spots. Push your brush down, pull your brush up. I want it to look as natural as possible. That makes sense. And almost done.
Okay, let me turn it back around, take a peek. Not too bad. I think we do need to add just a smidge of white. I remember life before too. I don't even know what we did with ourselves, do you? <laughs> it's like, what did we do before we had computers? So I'm gonna use this big fat brush again. I'm gonna get it really wet though and just get a very small amount of white on my brush and just give myself a little bit of highlight here and there. That was too much. Too much water. Hang on. So that makes them kind of stand out and make them a little more three-dimensional. Let's see, I don't want that one to be terribly white. We'll go back over here. Boom, boom, just a little something, something. We'll add a little tiny bit of white some of the stems. Just gives them um, a little bit of a highlight. All right, uh, what I want is though, not to have it too white for these dark ones. So we'll do, add a little bit of that green the lightest green to it so it's not super white. All right, voila, done with leaves. What happened to Richard? All right, I missed something. Richard. Oh my gosh, Richard. What the what, man? Sorry, man. Prayers for your family. Ugh. So scary. Mm. Okay, now I'm sad. Mm. Okay, so all our leaves are done. I feel like I uh, need to hit this with a blow dryer really quick because I am gonna use yellow, boom for flowers and I don't want the leaves to reflect through to um, see how you'll be able to see some of that through once we put glass on. So I'm gonna hit this for 10 seconds with the blow dryer and it's gonna be kind of loud, so turn your volume down. Richard, goodness. Okay, so here is some of the yellow that I brought to my party. These are little bits of yellow from those glass globey things that glass blowers make. You can see I broke this one already. Uh, here's another one that is a little less broken. I did whack it with a hammer and get a little piece. But that is what I'm using. I like that because it does, because it's curved, it does give dimension. So, I am going to just put all my glass down here, section it out. And I really want to paint a little bit underneath each flower. So I'm gonna put, I have to decide what yellow. I'm gonna put just a smidge of yellow on my canvas where my flowers are gonna lay so that mm, we'll have some yellow underneath. Goodness, Richard.
And we have white too, just in case. So now I need to kind of figure out where I want my flowers to go. So I think we need one right here for sure. So let me see what I can do here. Uh, let's see, we'll do like, what do I have available? I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda do this. And then maybe, let me see if I have some more yellow. Maybe a little something here. I don't know if we're gonna need yellow under there at all. Um, we'll add this over here. We need something to come up. We may need to pull this up since it's bigger. Let me see. I think that's better. We'll may, we may need to add a stem, but let's do that real quick. I love it too. So I'm gonna put my flower here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a stem Back down into my boot. Get a little bit of the light. All right. <clears throat> we'll let that dry a sec. We're gonna put that there with it. And we'll put this one here. We will, we'll need something there. Got all these cute little chunks that have a little bit of yellow in them, thanks to Cindy. And I'm gonna use those two. So let me see. Let's do, I like this here. Maybe a little something coming out of the boot here. We'll do two little pieces. Let's see what we got. Like that. And I like odd number flowers. So I never do like four flowers. And I never do like just two. I like three, five, seven. So, so far, let's pull that up a little. Let me see. That's one, two, three, four. Let me add a little something under there. I don't want the flower just to floating. A little too much water. And I really want, hmm, I'm trying to decide. I really want a more, another one of these to kind of balance. Maybe pull that up. Let me see what I got. I have, I may have to stack. Let me see what I can do. I gotta make a few. So I got a few of these little pieces. So I'm just gonna nip off some of the hard edges. I gotta do it over here, kind of where you can't see because I don't want the nips falling down around. Um, what we're doing, our canvas. So, kind of doing it off scene, just a smidge. All right, I think I like that. And we can add a little yellow ball there. Okay, getting there. And I think I need to use this yellow one more time. I'm gonna move this one more time right in here. So let me see what I can make up. I need to get those points off. I love the yellow too. It's cool, isn't it? Well, I broke that wrong, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it. Sometimes, this glass is so thin. 
sometimes it just breaks into a million pieces. So we're gonna make it work somehow, some way. Here's another little piece. Let's see what we can make happen here. We'll shape that one a little bit. I'm using, I would normally use a wheeled nipper, okay? But this is too thin for the nippers. And this is actually a tile nipper, okay? They sell these at Michael's. It's a tile nipper. And I use this for the skinny, skinny pieces because the blades get together closer. It's easier to do. So we'll do a little flower petal here. I really want to fix that one a little bit. Let's see. Let me fix this one. So what I'm doing, guys, I know you can't see. I'm going to pull this over here so I can try to show you without spattering. What I'm doing is just kind of nipping these little pieces to the shape I want with this little tool because the blades hit closer. Now, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, you can see, because of the way the glass is blown. So you may get something good and you may not. I'm just nipping away, trying to get something usable for a cute little flower right there. Um, we'll do one more. One, two, three, four. We'll try to do one more. Just nip those sharp points off is all I'm kind of trying to do. Okay. All right, let me get some of this glass off. So we'll put that there. And I need a tiny little, I think I'm gonna put this here. Get a little nip. And let's see. I'm just still kind of searching around. I got little bits of glass. Okay, so I like the way this one is shaped. So I'm gonna use that like down here, kind of coming up off that stem. <coughs> And then we're gonna see if there's any way to use any of these other pieces. I don't think we need to paint the yellow. I think it's fine the way it is. Pretty pleased with it. But I think here, you know what we do need, I think, is I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed glass just in a few places. Now this is Starfire, or actually this is uh, Clear Classic. So it will, um, you'll be able to see everything underneath it painted, that's painted, all the leaves and the boots underneath uh, when we resin. Har uh, Harbor Freight, is that it? So this will help fill up some space where it doesn't feel so um, empty. And then we're gonna add a couple more flowers. We probably need to add some bubbles too, don't you think? Right, I love these two pieces here. We need to use them somewhere. I think I'm just gonna stick one here. And maybe I have to stand up and look away. Maybe not, maybe this one. This one looks more like a flower. And maybe I'll just stick this one down here. This one 
up in here. All right, I'm gonna fill in with just a little bit. Oh, that's awesome. Just fill it in with a little bit of clear classic. Should have laid that down before my flowers, but that's okay. That's all right. Now, what I did bring is a couple of um, nipped leaves. So I may add a couple of those in just for giggles. Put one there, especially on these leaves that are on these flowers that I didn't really have a stem for. We'll move that up. Add a little leaf, a little 3D leaf. We'll do one up here on that one. Just lay it in best I can. And maybe one right here. Let me get a better one. One here. All right, guys, I think, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let me see. I love that it's all yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang, gum it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was bugging me. <clears throat> Just gonna throw one in over here. All right, I'm gonna grab some bubbles because I cannot resist. Give me one second. Everything needs bubbles. And voila. Mm. All right, who is ready for the next step? Is this not fun? I love the blue with the red and teal. Um, I'm gonna take one second to kind of brush off any little glass nips from showing you how I was using that tool because it did kind of spatter. And trying to decide if I wanna put glass down here. I don't really think I do, <laughs> but I'm indecisive today. Drop a yellow on the shoe. <gasps> oh. Like, like maybe, oh, hang on. Like just a little petal on the ground. Let me look at it on the screen. I feel like I should put glass down here for some reason. Hmm, let's see. See what I got down in here. Well, I don't really have a lot of options for the darker yellow. I've used most of it. And, you know, you can see it in person. It's just the video that you can't see. So, I don't know. Maybe a few little somethings. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and get, I'm gonna leave a couple of these pieces out here. And then I'm gonna resin, and then we'll drop a couple little pieces into the resin and see what happens. All right, so that's what we'll do. Let me put this back. I really wanted to use these this thing, but it's so big and so fat, I just don't, and it doesn't lay flat to the canvas, I just don't know where to put it. The bugs. Okay, so we're gonna resin, and then we'll come in and drop in some of these little pieces around the bottom of the shoes so that it looks like some of the flower petals fell. Yes, they were ornaments like these. Yeah, we're gonna put it back. 
All right, <clears throat> let me clear off the desk. And where's my cup? Where is my cup? Where is it? The crystal glass looks like thrift mixing. It, it's just crushed glass. It's just the clear. Hang on, I gotta get a resin cup. Okay, let me get some gloves. Oh lordy, look, look guys, uh oh. any yellow frit. So, who wants to guesstimate how much resin we need for this piece? 11 by 14. A little bit of flowers, a lot of blank space. Anybody want to give it a shot? Rima? Nah. Think a little more than that. <clears throat> you might, you know what? You guessed perfectly right the last time. I am going to mix three ounces. One and a half, one and a half. And I'm actually going to use the milliliter me measurement on my cup. So it'll be a little more than three ounces because they don't have a one and a half ounce measurement here. So, um, so I'll use 50 milliliters of part A and 50 milliliters of part B, and it'll actually come out to about three and a quarter ounces. That's a great idea. So it's gonna be a little more than three. So let's do this. We'll start with, and I know, I'm gonna stretch y'all out and put it right there in the middle. I'm gonna do my Hardener, I need to refill my little cuppy. Whoop, hang on, don't go past. Okay, that's the hardener. Oh, cool, that's a good idea. And This is probably too much, but that's okay too. I've got about six pieces that I need to finish. Oh, slow down, sister. Smidge more. Well, let's see how this works. All right, so a little over three ounces, probably too much. So we're ready to stir. You ready, Miss Rima? Isn't it cute, Mary? I love it too. So we're stirring, stirring, stirring. You stir slowly. You don't want to whip it into a frenzy because that incorporates a lot of bubbles and you want to minimize that as much as possible. And you want to scrape your sides and your bottom. It is way more fun than uh, crushed glass, Leslie. Frit is almost like sand. You know, you can get it in different sizes, but most frit is like sand. I don't use it a lot, but if I use it, I use it after I resin. Because if you put it down on your canvas first, kind of like the glass beads, 
If you don't glue it down and you put it on your canvas and then pour resin on top, it just floats all over the place. Yes. What Richard said. <laughs> what Richard said. Longest three minutes of my life right here. So, while I'm just sitting here doing nothing but stirring, I would like to remind you all that the Shattered Circle is open. We decided to go ahead and open it up um, indefinitely to anyone who would like to join. And I'm stirring, Rima, I'm stirring. Uh, anybody who would like to join, it's a monthly membership where we make art all month. We have one big project at the beginning of the month, April, we're making a guitar, an electric guitar. Um, oh, heck yeah, Patty, absolutely. Um, we do a big project at the beginning of the month, every month. We have uh, Facebook Lives, Q&A. We have many workshops. We have Potluck, where anything goes. It might be a contest, it might be a giveaway, might be who knows what. But we would love for you to join us if you would like to. I'm gonna pause for one second and get the link. Hang on. Give me some grace, Rima. Um, Rima's like, you're not stirring. So there is the link. We would love to come have you join us. We are open and we have kept our entire vault available to new members, which we were not gonna do originally when we reopened this spring, but we did decide to keep all of the vault inside for everybody since we all have way too much time on our hands. <laughs> and we all need the emotional release of creating art, so. Thank you for saying that, Patty. I appreciate you. And I did not pay her to say that. Okay, so Rima says time is up. So I am going to start drizzling on my glass. So I wanna make sure, especially these three dimensional pieces, I wanna make sure they're nice and covered and we'll probably move them around a little bit once we get the resin on and make sure there's resin underneath them as well. So I'm just gonna start covering my glass. No. So I like to drizzle like top to bottom, left to right, just in order like this. So I started here, moved over, and I go left to right, left to right. That way I ensure that everything is covered nicely and that I don't miss a spot. So if I go in order, then that kind of helps me stay in line and then I don't come back the next day and have a big old spot missing. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, we couldn't help. We, you know, originally we were gonna take that out because sometimes for new people, uh, the vault can be overwhelming because there are so many workshops in the vault. We've been almost two years in the making, so that's, you know, an average of two to three projects a month. Christmas time, we did so many. We did one a week for like five or six weeks. So uh, originally we were gonna take that out and just make it a separate you know, you could buy it separate if you wanted it or just join and start with the new projects. But since all this stuff started happening, we decided to leave it in so that all, <laughs> so that you guys that join would have access as well. Because I think we all need that um, in our lives right now. So what I'm gonna do before I start the rest 
is I'm gonna come up here because these pieces especially here are really three dimensional. So I wanna make sure I have resin underneath that glass and on both sides of my glass. It helps keep it from breaking, it helps solidify it and keep it from breaking and it keeps it stuck to the canvas. So let me make sure there's plenty of resin and there's plenty of resin on both sides of that curved piece of glass. That keeps it stuck down well. All right, plenty of resin. And I see my little thing fell. Get that, this one too is kind of curved. Make sure we have resin underneath it and it's completely coated. This one. Here we go. And this one. See there's a bare spot there. I wanna make sure it's not bare. And I think those are kind of curved too, but I think that one might need a little underneath. And I think we're good to go with the rest. So I'm going to drizzle the remaining canvas with resin, and then we'll see how much we used. I'm not gonna have a whole lot left, maybe an ounce. So it may have just been a two ounce, or Reem is always right. Let's see, yep. So I'm just gonna smear around, spread it, and I forgot to put my blocks underneath, but I'm gonna be super careful. And then when we're done, somebody tell me to put the blocks underneath. Because if I come back tomorrow and this thing is stuck to my tarp, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, thank you, Beth. Boot camp is super fun. Beth, have you done your turtle in boot camp? That's my favorite. I like them all. I always say this one's my favorite, that one's my favorite. I really like them all, or I wouldn't have put them in boot camp. They're some of my favorite pieces. But that turtle, that turtle, uh-huh. Okay, so let me look. I like to kind of look at it from sideways. Um, to make sure I don't have resin everywhere I need have, to have resin. And I see a little spot there that does not. So look at it from different angles. Look from this way, from that way, because sometimes that glare will hide that bare spot from you. So let me go this way. Look. I don't see anything worth mentioning. So this covered and Rima, you were right, it was two ounces. I have one ounce left over, just enough to do my little seashell piece that I've got over yonder. But here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna leave my gloves on and just pick up a couple of these flower petals. That way I can kinda rub on them. I'll put a couple over here. What do you think? I want to drizzle a teeny bit of resin on top of them. Ah! Get where I want you to be. That gum it. All right. Put just a drop of resin on the tip top of those. Make sure they're stuck down really good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys, I love this. <gasps> the sunflower, yes. Favorite, always say that. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a crab, I'm sorry. I'm crazy. Put one on the boot. I don't have, an, this one's too big. Maybe this tiny one on the boot. Like that.
Wish I could break this one. Is that okay? What do you think? I love it. Oh, it's so cute. I think I'm pleased with this. I think I'm gonna rip these gloves off and be done. Let's be done. Oh, got resin on my wrist. <laughs> Good thing I don't react to it. Okay, guys, this is so much fun. Right now, what we're gonna do is hit it with our little torch so that we don't have a bunch of bubbles in our piece and then I'll elevate. So let me hit this real quick. Oh, goodness gracious. This might be my favorite piece ever. Love the teal boots. Heavens to Betsy. Okay, now we will, ooh, that itch. I'm gonna elevate since I forgot to. Put my board under and put my board under here. So it doesn't stick to my table if it drips. And uh, voila, did you Leslie? That's so cute. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for this to dry so I can show it to you full on. It is the cutest thing ever. Had another little piece of glass, hang on. <laughs> it's just the tiniest little piece. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was like a little piece of, a little sliver on my desk. It was either add it to the art or let it cut me, right?